Welcome back to this build series. This is Tim Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. This is the final part to this build series. It doesn't look like it, but that is because we did a little bit of paver prepping before we did get into the concrete pour and the vinyl fence build, which was um, part two and three. This is part four. And what I'm gonna basically just be showing you guys and going over here is how we set up grade for our pavers, how we put the base in and screed the base all right so i'm getting a piece of lumber cut right now because we're going to start screeding out the walkways this walkway and the walkway over there that are going to be on the side of the concrete driveway what i'm doing is i'm cutting this down to two and three quarters because that accounts for half inch of sand and two and a quarter of pavers so shane if you could hold this real quick on the mark i just made i'm going to snap the line i'm going to rip this board down to two and three quarters Right there. See that little line? Yeah. So keep it right there on that line, okay? Okay, I should snap it. Okay. All right. Okay, so as you can see, we're grading out the paver walkway right now. And like I've been saying, using my two and three quarter inch two by four that I ripped. And all I'm doing is I'm going right to the height of my uh, grade lines, which is right there, right? Mm -hmm. And then look over here. That's my other grade line. That's gonna be the height uh, of pavers. So hopefully this makes it give you a little bit better visual. So they're gonna be putting a paver and sand in place of this uh, two by four or two and two three quarters. <laughs> yeah, not two and three quarters. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. all I'm doing is pretty simple, guys. And if you've seen all the other paper videos I do, this is this is what we do. We just kind of keep it nice and flat, and you get you good at that once you do this enough times. Keep it nice and flat. You don't want to kind of be looking at only one way. You would kind of want to be looking at both ways as you go down. I like to just kind of go up again one more time, just kind of double check, making sure. Just keep going down. You can see we have a lot right here. And then I'm also shifting my two by four under, going to the other side, barely grazing the line, barely grazing the line. See that guys? See how I'm doing this? And I'm going back. And while I'm doing this, I'm breaking my knees because I don't got my knee pads on. Whew. Don't mind, man. I got them. Been for you. Oh, and if you guys didn't see how I got great established, make sure you go back in the video. It's either going to be in part one or in this part. So go, make sure to go back and see the very beginning when we got our string lines established so you can see how we did this. So hopefully that made sense for most of you watching that. Also, setting up the string lines and getting the grade established was in part one. So if you haven't seen that, check the description. Part one will be there. So all we're going to be doing is just bringing in our three quarter inch rock. As we're bringing in the rock, I'm just grading back with my rip board. And just following those grade lines that I had established. The next day though, I did bring in some extra help. I brought Roman and his team in to help us get these pavers done a little bit faster since uh, it's pretty tough just doing this mean Shane. So you can see I got Roman's team out here now. And while they were also getting the paver area prepped, we were also doing the vinyl fencing, which was in part three. So go ahead, go back to part three. It'll be in the description below. You can check out the, the vinyl fence build. You can also see the driveway was poured out. So that would be part two. And that will also be in the description. But in this video, we're gonna be just focusing on getting the pavers installed and just showing you guys the whole prep work.
so we are compacting the ground a few times before we do even bring in more of the base because it was a little deep so we did want to compact make sure that this surface is really nice and hard so there's no chance of any dipping in the in the base so now that all of our base is installed what we're doing right here is we're just setting up the pavered border string line and this basically gives us a, a straight edge off the foundation of the home and then we did have to break out some extra stucco that really bowed out on the foundation of the house almost like two inches so we wanted to make sure that our bordered edge had a really nice straight line so we pulled the string line off the foundation and made sure it had at least eight inches So you can see we're cutting the stucco at the very bottom right on our snapped red chalk line that you saw in the beginning of the video when I was grading out the three quarter inch rock so that our paper border can fit right against the foundation. Because we basically, what we did was we put a two by four against the stucco from the top to the bottom and it bowed out bad at the bottom, probably about two inches. So we want to make sure our border goes really straight with the foundation. And then here's Orco delivering our pavers. We had about six pallets in total. And we actually are going to be doing the city area as well. That was something the homeowner added later on. And the type of paver we're doing is a uh, Ville Express Chateau color with the charcoal borders. And the charcoal borders are going to even be going around the driveway. So that's going to look really nice. And the planter beds that we're putting in on each side of the driveway. So we're doing our basically our final compaction on the three quarter inch rock before we do start to lay down our sand. And what we use to lay our sand with is our electrical conduit pipes. It's about half inch electrical conduit pipes. We always throw our sand down into the middle and then we put the electrical conduit pipes on the sides ones in right there all right so the guys are now setting up the string lines to grade height we're gonna lay down the sand and start screeding all the sand back with our screeding pipes typically what we like to do is put the screed pipes on the sides right underneath the string lines and then we just screed everything back Send the screen pipes up. And the thing we want when we set these up is two and a quarter from the top of the rail to the string line. That'll count for our sand and pavers, meaning the sand's only going to cover the rail and the rest is going to be the paver. And it took two and a half, so we probably just have to raise these up a tad with some sand. And uh, yeah, it'll be solid after that. So I don't know if you guys can see, right over there in the corner, we did establish our square off the house, off of both foundations. So that is our square point right up there. And that is where we're gonna start laying our pavers, actually. We're gonna go right off that string line right there, and down 
and fill them in as we go. So as we are laying out our pavers, we are always laying out the border first. The reason why we always lay out the border first is because that is our established straight edge or straight line that's running against the foundation. So as long as we know that our pavers are squared and straight with that string line, we know the rest of the pavers we lay are going to be nice, straight, and squared out as well. And then here's another little tip and trick what to do when you are laying out your pavers. What we're doing is we're setting up another straight string line to run all the way down on the field making sure that our line isn't getting off and that all of the field pavers making a straight line just like the border. And not only that but the other main reason why we're doing this is because our paver border is going to be kicking in because we are having a planter bed right where they're measuring out. Alright, so what the guys are doing right now is just getting a new line ran because our border actually is going to kick in right at the corner of the driveway. So you can see we had a string line ran for this border. Now the string line is going to be kicked in a tad bit because our new border is going to start right there. You get a closer look for you guys. So you can see right there, corner of the driveway. So we're going to start kicking in the border and shooting it back down. And it's going to out, the papers are basically going to be outlining the, pa uh, the planter bed right here. <laughs> Also, another key important thing, guys, when we are laying our papers, we lay out against the string line first and work our way up, that back that way. Kind of so, we're always laying against the string line first and then working our way back like this. That ensures that all the other pavers we lay are straight because we're going off of our straight string line. So here's a good example. In the time lapse, as we are laying out the pavers, we will start on the string line and work our way back. After we do have the field all laid out, the next thing we're going to be doing is just laying in our borders. You can see we also had a couple in cut pieces we had to make. And it really depends on where you want to have your in cut pieces. The reason why we started at the door was because we wanted full pieces at the door rather than at the beginning of the sidewalk. But you guys let me know, would you rather have the in cuts towards the door or towards the sidewalk? I guess it's just personal preference at that point. I like full pieces at the door though, so it looks like a, a better entrance to the home. And then what we're doing is we are uh, mixing up some concrete and then laying in our, our charcoal border pieces. I do always like having uh, darker bands 
to wrap around the field of the pavers because I just think it makes uh, the pavers pop more. And then Roman is so good at doing this, he doesn't even use a string line for when he sets his borders because his the way he uh, he basically lays all the papers in first and then goes back with the string line just to make sure that they all got laid in straight. And 90% of the time, he's on the money. And then he does use a little two by four that spans about four feet to make sure that all the pavers are going in at the same height. And if you notice too, the pavers do, the concrete pavered borders go down about an eighth inch lower than the field because we will be compacting the field, which will bring it down about an eighth inch. So you see the string line they just ran? That was just to ensure that all the pavers got laid in straight. And then if you also notice on the corners, we are doing mitered uh, cut corners. And I just think that makes it look a little nicer. If you do get any of the concrete residue on the field or on the border pavers, make sure you get a sponge and get those wiped off right away because concrete residue does stain. So you want to get that off right away. So we're just about to start working on the concrete driveway now, getting the border laid in right there. We did on the concrete paver bordered areas to lay in a thicker bead of concrete and then also smear up the concrete against the edge because cars will be going over that area and we don't want the pavers to sink. All right, so we are starting to get the, the borders in on the driveway. See, this one came out really nice looking right here. All of it's coming out really nice to be honest. But how we're doing this is we're just putting some uh, three quarter inch base rock in here, sliming it with some two by fours, and then oh, we put our paper down right there, just like that. Mm. It's gonna be locked in place due to the driveway and the apron approach, all the way down. And then we do concrete these uh, uh, these boards while they're not locked in place, since this is gonna be a planter bed. You can see there's a little extra concrete on the driveway side just to lock it a little bit better than this side since this side is just a walkway. So we basically have the other side. So we basically have the other paver walkway all done. What we're doing now is we're just going back to the other paver walkway area and putting in polymeric sand. We did actually go over the pavers once with the compactor already. And then as we do lay out the polymeric sand, we go over the pavers again with the compactor. But we do not go over the concrete paver bordered area because that will end up just breaking them because they are concreted in.
But we did do the city sidewalk area as well. I just didn't get a whole lot of film footage for this side. But it was much better than how it did previously. Look, the person that did this area, I guess when they tried sealing it, the surface is wet. And it basically turned the whole surface a milky white color. That's why you really need professionals when sealing or it could ruin your pavers. So here is the last little area of the planter bed pavers that we put in. And we are going to be putting some weed fabric in the planter beds and uh, a drip irrigation hose. But we did not do the plants. That was something the homeowner wanted to do himself. But here is the finished product. All the pavers are in, it's a five piece pattern, chateau color, charcoal pavered border, soldier core style. We laid uh, the pavered borders right under the fence too as well, and then put the field in on this side. Overall, I think this job came out amazing. Beautiful diamond grid concrete driveway with some beautiful paver walkways brand new planter beds to be able to place what they want. You can see the drain. We moved to this planter bed and centered it so that it's not in the driveway anymore. That was in part when I showed that. But everything came out really nice on this job. So make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, comment any questions you guys may have on this build series and stay tuned for more Odell Complete Concrete videos. Thank you and have a great day.